Good morning. Today we're in Revelation chapter 22. Yeah, the last chapter of Revelation. So, enjoy our puppet skit. See you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly. Revelation chapter 22 continues to describe the New Jerusalem. Yeah, that we talked about last week. Dude, like that's good because uh, I don't really understand everything about the New Jerusalem. <laughs> yep, none of us do completely, but God shows us some amazing things about it. Yeah, Revelation 22 verse 3 through 4 says, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. So that means there's like no more curse from sin, and we get to see God face to face. Shaw, sure, dude. I'm like so excited now. Shaw. Sure. Yeah, this chapter of Revelation even ends with a reminder that Jesus is coming soon. Mm -hmm. He will reward us, and we should remain faithful. 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 Well, duh. With all we know about Jesus and, like, Revelation, why wouldn't we want to remain faithful? Duh. <laughs> I know, right? Still, some will turn away from God. Our goal is to keep our eyes on Jesus. So, I was pondering, when do you really need to keep your eyes on Jesus? Huh? Let's check it out. I need to keep my eyes on Jesus when I'm doing the dishes. Yeah, because you know, uh, hmm, it can be kind of frustrating and uh, yucky. Yeah, so I got to keep my eyes on Jesus and, uh, you know, not be upset with those who made the mess. <laughs> like Rexy. Oh, Rexy, you know you're kind of a pig, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a pig. I'm a pig dinosaur. <laughs> oink, oink. I'm a pig. Yay. Blub, blub. Oh yes, Revelation 22 verse 12 to 13 says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Jesus reminds us that he is coming soon, and he has a reward for us. If you keep your eyes on Jesus, oh! You gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. Knowing that Jesus is coming back soon and wants to reward us makes me want to power up so I can serve him today. Yeah. Oh, pretty powerful, huh? <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Now, in chapter 21, we start hearing about the new Jerusalem. And we hear kind of a continuation of this in chapter 22. And it moves into the promises of the Lord. I love it as we talked about in our puppet skit. There will be no more curse. There will be no more sin. It is done away with. We get to be with the Lord. This is a sweet promise. And I love the promise that Blub Blub shared uh, in chapter 22, verse 12 through 13. It says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the, the, Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. This is Jesus talking. And it's a reminder that in the end, 
Jesus wins. In the end, after all these judgments we just studied, after everything we just went through in Revelation, be with Jesus and Jesus wins. His reward is with him. He will reward us. He will bless us. Uh, and he has an eternal kingdom set up for us. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be scared of the future because we know that Jesus is in charge of the future. And he loves you very much. As we conclude this book of Revelation, it's a good reminder that uh, he is the beginning, he is the end, and he's got it. He's got your life in his hand, and he knows what's best for us. And by, when you read chapter 22, it's again a reminder of he's got a, a purpose for you, a plan, and his eternal kingdom he's setting up because he loves us. That is good, good news. So, with that, let's pray. Lord, thank you for this book, Lord. Thank you for the book of Revelation. As we are reminded again, Lord, through all through the, the tribulation, Lord, that you are in charge. Through all these warnings, Lord, you warn us because you love us. And Lord, in seeing your millennial kingdom, we're reminded of your promises. Your promise to never leave us and never to forsake us. Thank you for that, Jesus. Pray you'd bless our week in your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you.